Using the proper technique with your flight fins is vital in carving, nudging, and launching your one wheel safely and effectively. Let's begin with jumping in place. Place your feet snugly underneath your flight fins and hop in place while maintaining your balance. Keep in mind that you're using your legs and arms for upward momentum. Bending the legs slightly will help tremendously in lifting your one wheel into the air. When jumping, remember, lock, load, launch. Lock, squeeze your feet into the fins, engaging your inner thighs. Load, bend your knees, bringing your arms into your body. And launch, extend your legs and arms, creating upward momentum. When descending, aim to land slightly tail down or level to the ground. Practicing on grass or a padded surface such as foam rubber playground material is an ideal place to test your technique. When nudging, it is helpful to start with a smaller curb. Choose a curb and accelerate towards it between three to five miles per hour. When near the curb, lift up the nose of the board and set it on top of the ledge. This will simultaneously place your tire against the side of the curb. Use the leverage of your back fin to lift the board up and over. Your front foot can be in or out of its fin while doing so. When the board is at the top of the curb, flatten it out, continuing forward. Here are a few ways to utilize your fins for increased carvability. One option is to place your back foot in your fin and the front foot out uncomfortable. You can also place your front foot under your fin and leave your back foot free. Both of these options help with a wider stance when carving. Lastly, you can place both feet under your fins. For this method, we suggest floating at speeds up to 15 miles per hour. Whether you're using your fins to carve, nudge, or jump, remember, practice is key. Keep going and enjoy the process. You may be surprised by what you can achieve. For more tutorials, go to flightfins.com.